In this video, we'll write the formula for Cl2. We're talking about diatomic chlorine. You'll sometimes see this called molecular chlorine because it's a molecule. We have two atoms bonded together and sometimes just chlorine gas. So the first thing we need to do to write the Lewis structure for Cl2, we need to count the valence electrons. So we have the periodic table and each group has the number of valence electrons written above it. Group one has one valence electrons. All the elements in group two, two. Chlorine is over here. It's in group 17, sometimes called 7a. So it will have seven valence electrons. We have two chlorine atoms. So seven times two, that equals 14. So we have a total of 14 valence electrons for the Cl2 Lewis structure. We have two chlorine atoms. So we'll just write the element symbol for chlorine twice. That's Cl. Then we have 14 valence electrons. So let's put two between the chlorine atoms. That forms the chemical bond. Then we'll complete the octets on each of these chlorine atoms here until we use 14 valence electrons. So at this point, we've used 14 valence electrons. This chlorine here, it has an octet, eight valence electrons. And this chlorine here, it has an octet. And they do that because they're sharing this pair of valence electrons. Sometimes you'll see this pair of electrons here replaced with a line. The line, this represents the chemical bond. It means we have two electrons here shared between each chlorine atom. If you were asked for the molecular geometry, since we only have two atoms, this would be a linear molecule and the bond angle would be 180 degrees. So this is the Lewis structure for Cl2, diatomic chlorine, also called molecular chlorine, or more commonly, chlorine gas. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.